Hello everyone, this is MGS Warrior 2 back to give you another part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition playthrough. And today, uh, it's time to take part in the Saturday Tournament. And let's see who I'll be facing today. I have my Valentine. Should be an interesting match. My inner harpies. Okay, so I'm gonna start the duel. I'm gonna set negate attack. And I'll set my cyber jar to end my turn. My summoned harpy's brother went for the attack on my cyber jar. And I'll let her do that. Her harpy's brother is destroyed, but we both get to special summon monsters with four stars or less to the field. All I got is giant soldier of stone, but that's all I needed to defend against her monster. Which was Neo the Magic Swordsman, so she took 300 uh, damage. So it's my move. I have a loaded hand, so I'm gonna set my traps. Such as Trap Hole and Mirror Force. And I'm going to um, summon my Jinzo by tributing my Giant Soldier of Stone. Now, Jinzo Cyber Energy Shockwave destroy Neo the Magic Swordsman. It's your move, mine. Oh no, she played Dark Hole, and there goes my Jinzo. She's gonna reborn it, and I can't play traps. Oh, so that really stinks. Okay, but um, I do have a Dark Hole of my own, so I'm gonna activate it now. She actually used the Jinzo against me, so that was uh, something that really got under my skin there. So I summoned Gemini Elf, and I'll equip her with Sword of Deep Seated, increasing her attack and defense by 500. So I'm going to attack mine directly, she activates the gate, so uh, battle phase ends. She summons a Cyber Harpy. But I play my trap hole so I can destroy it as soon as it's summoned. But she plays two of her best uh, spell cards, Rising Air Current and Swords of Revealing Light. I wish I had this earlier, but I'll set it now, Magic Jammer. Um, let's see uh, what other monster I can bring on here. I will set my Sangin. And that's it, because of Swords of Revealing Light, I can't attack. She summons Lala Leon to uh, attack Sangin. I'll just uh, allow her to do that. I'll use Sangin's effect. So that means I get to grab a monster with 1500 attack or less. And I pick Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, because I have Burfomet in my hand. All I need is polymerization. Okay, it's um, time to bring out another monster if I could. Oh, I guess I'll put Unhappy Maiden uh, face down. It's in my turn. And now my enters her battle phase on pretty attack on Unhappy Maiden. But I play Negate Attack. So that way I can use uh, Unhappy Maiden as a tribute if I want, such as right now, so I can bring out my Beast of Guilford. So now I'm all set with two powerful monsters on the field. So that ends my turn, and that ends Swords of Revealing Light as well. Now she has to set her uh, Switcher monster to defense mode, so I set my Skull Dice on the field. Next, I summon my Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. Now it's time to go on the attack. Gazelle, destroy Lala Leung. The 
Beast of Gilfer attack uh, her last monster. Skull Redbird is destroyed. Gemini Elf direct attack. Things are looking good for me so far. She summons Faith Bird because of rising air current it gains 500 attack points. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see what she's gonna do first. She's gonna attack Gazelle. But I activate my Mirror Force to destroy her skull. Uh, uh, what was it called? Man, I actually forgot what it was uh, called. Faith Bird. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking Skull Red Bird, but that's not it. So I have enough monsters on the field right here to wipe her out. So I'm just gonna do that. Gemini Elf. I'm gonna attack directly. And Beast of Gil for one more attack. And I've won the first duel of the match. I finish exchanging my cards. Be prepared to face my harem of Helians in the next duel. I don't need to swap cards. I'm already ready to go. So, um, mine will probably give me a tougher duel this time around, so I better uh, be prepared. I'm gonna set Trap Hole. And I summon my Dunamis Dark Witch in attack mode in my turn. So my activates Sword to Revealing Light. She got lucky that it was actually in her opening hand. So I'm gonna set Magic Jammer. And I'll set Giant Soldier of Stone. And that's gonna end my turn. Next she summons Faith Bird. I'm gonna uh, play Trap Hole on that so it's destroyed. But she flip summon her blue ink crown to attack stone soldier but she takes 400 points of damage so I'm gonna set negate attack I'm not gonna play cyber jar because I want to keep my two monsters on the field so I'm just gonna end my turn here I'm just waiting for swords to expire she plays monster reborn to revive her faith bird uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play magic jammer discard Cyber Jar, so that way she can't reborn her Faith Bird, um, so that she won't be able to summon Harpy's Pet Dragon if she has it in her hand. So, um, it's time for me to summon another monster, so I'll summon Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast, and still can attack, uh, so I end my turn, so now Swords has expired. She summons Saki the Dark Clown. She flipped her other monster in attack mode trying to attack Gazelle, but I play Negate. So, um, let's see. My Dunamis can take out her Blue Ink Crown. My Gazelle can take out Saki. I'm gonna set my Sangin. So I'm gonna attack her twice. Dunamis finish off this Blue Ink Crown. So Gazelle, uh, get rid of this Soggy. Alright, your move, mine. So my flipped up her Taihon to attack Sangin. I don't mind that. So let me grab a monster. And I pick Burfomet, since I already have Gazelle on the field. All I need is Polymerization. Didn't draw it yet. But I did get Giant Soldier of Stone. I'll uh, summon him in attack mode. So all she's got is Taihon on the field. I'm gonna enter battle phase. Alright, Giant Soldier of Stone. Um, destroy Taihon. Now it's time to go all out on the attack directly with three of my monsters. So how are you going to take this, Mime? Looks like you're down to 1800 points. I didn't even lose a single point yet. Yeah, it looks like she's finished. She has set a uh, defense monster. So I don't feel the need to summon any more monsters. So let's. I'm going to try to uh, finish her off. So Gazelle, get rid of this monster, which was Thousand Eyes Idol. So Dunamis, one last attack. 
defeated Mai in the Saturday Championship. Now, how can I lose like that? Well, save for this moment because I'll show you how to win in style the next time we meet. So, yes, I'm the winner. I'm glad we claim my prize. Goddess of Whim. Toss a coin called Heads or Tails. Call it right. This card's attack will be doubled during this turn. Call it wrong, and the attack will be halved during this turn. Oh, it's one of those coin flip effects, which I don't care too much for. So, I didn't get any good um, cards there. Oh, this is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. There have been several reported inc incidents of card robberies occurring in various parts of the city. We ask you to be careful. Reports indicate the members are the ghouls hidden among passerby. So yeah, it looks like the ghouls are back in town, so that's um, good news for me. I get to hunt them down. Um, but I'm going to save that for next time because uh, I don't want to risk going overtime. So thank you very much for watching my Saturday tournament today on my Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition playthrough. Uh, comment, like, sub, and I'll see you guys next time.